All right. How are you? Well, we are going to wait a couple of minutes. Vamos a esperar un minutico a que terminen de llegar los estudiantes. A ver si de pronto se... Se confundieron por el link. Okay. All right. Remember that today's class we are going to see um, the review of adverse of frequency and jobs. Because we didn't finish that uh, last Thursday, right? <clears throat> el día de hoy vamos a terminar el repaso del día jueves, que no lo terminamos porque hicimos una actividad un poquito larga que fue la de eh, Knowledge About Italy, conocimiento acerca de Italia. Entonces, el día de hoy vamos a terminar este repaso y si nos alcanza el tiempo comenzamos con tema nuevo. ¿Ok? All right. So I'm going to share the screen over here. All right, students, are you seeing the PDF? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So remember, last class we work on this. So we are going to continue over here. We already did this uh, exercises and we were here, right? So look, how often do you eat rice? How often do you drink water? How often do you play food? Remember, this question with this structure, right? how often we are going to answer that with an adverb frequency. Cuando tengamos una respuesta con how often, la idea es que se responda con un adverbio de frecuencia, with an adverb frequency, right? So, how often do you eat rice? I can say, I eat rice every day. Yes. Remember that every day is the adverb frequency that has to be at the end. Yes, at the end, right? So now this is a question for Santi. Santi, how often do you eat rice? I eat rice um, twice a week. Very good. I eat rice twice a week. Very good. All right. Now we continue with this question. How often do you drink water? How often do you drink water? This is a question for Sebas. Sebas, how often do you drink water? I'm going to see now here the other Every day. Okay, perfect. So I eat water. I sorry, I drink water every day. Very good. Remember, every day is an adverb frequency that has to be at the end. Yes, tiene que ir al final. So we continue with this question. How often do you play football? How often do you play football? This is a question for Vivian. How often do you play football? Very good. So I play football twice a week. Let's accept here, Jerry. All right. Remember, twice a week has to be at the end. At the end. We continue over here. How often do you eat noodles? How often do you eat noodles? You know noodles? That is like fideos, yes? So, this is a question for uh, Tati. I don't know if you have your microphone. If you don't have microphone, you can answer here on the chat. How often do you eat noodles? How often do you eat noodles? 
So this is a question for Tati, right? Si no tienes micrófono, la puedes responder acá en el chat. Remember, noodles, fideos. Yes, noodles, that is, fideos. Mm, I don't know. I never eat noodles. All right. Very good. I never eat noodles. I never eat noodles. Remember, students, when we have this adverb frequency, we have to put them between the subject and the verb. Yes? Now we continue. This is a question for Yoli. How often do you sing songs? How often do you sing songs? I sometimes, very good, so. I sometimes sing songs, very good. Now this is a question for Aileen, yes? How often do you go on holiday? How often do you go on holiday? Cada cuanto te vas de vacaciones, yes? How often do you go on holiday? Rarely, very good. So I rarely go on holiday. Holiday. Eh, remember, students, holiday puede significar día feriado, sí, día feriado o vacaciones, sí. Both. Very good. We continue over here. So this is a question for Aida, yes? How often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? Yes, question for Aida. I don't know if you are listening. I don't know, maybe she's not listening right now. For example, me, mm, I sometimes watch TV. I sometimes watch TV, right? That's me. Well, we continue this question. This is going to be for Santi. How often do you climb mountains? How often do you climb mountains? I never climb mountains. Very good. So I never climb mountains. I'm escalar, yes. Escalar montañas, climb mountains. Escalar montañas. And now we have this question for Sebas. How often do you cook dinner? How often do you cook dinner? Never. Very good. So I never cook. I never cook dinner. All right. We're going to continue over here. Remember, we are going to review um, last week topics. So we have over here the professions. Yes, we have a farmer, a priest, yes, a doctor, a doctor, an artist, a manager, over here. We have a football player, a fireman, 
a waiter, a footballer, engineer, an engineer. We have an office, an office worker, a policeman, a singer, a pilot, and a swimmer. Swimmer. We continue over here. We have an artist. Surgeon. Students, how do you say surgeon in Spanish? How do you say surgeon in Spanish? Cirujano. Very good to us. Cirujano. Surgeon. We have the nurse, the mechanic. Pay attention to the pronunciation and the spelling of this one. Mechanic. Right? Mechanic. We have a bodyguard. A bodyguard. We have a reporter. A reporter. A doctor. And again, an, a farmer. Students, how do you say bodyguard? In Spanish. How do you say bodyguard in Spanish? Very good. Guarda espaldas. Yes. Guarda espaldas o un escolta. All right. Now, we are going to continue over here with more vocabulary. We have an accountant. How do you say accountant in Spanish? Contador. Very good. We have an architect. Pay attention to the pronunciation and the spelling. Astronomer. We have an astronomer. We have an author. Author. We have a baker over here. I'm going to go down. We have a butcher. Carpenter. Dentist and let's go down a little. We have a doctor here, farmer, firefighter, judge. Students, how do you say judge in Spanish? Juez. Juez. Very good. We continue over here. We have a mechanic, mechanic. We have a nurse, a nurse. We have a pilot, a pilot. A plumber, plumber, sorry, a plumber. The B doesn't sound, a plumber. And we continue here. Police officer, psychiatrist, surgeon again, and the teacher. Yes, the teacher. All right. So now you are going to tell me the place in which these professions or these people work. Yes. So, for example, number one. Going to write or here. Where does an accountant work? Where does an accountant work? Donde trabaja un contador? Where does an accountant work? What do you think? Where does an accountant work? In an office, yes. In an office. 
in a company. Yes, maybe in a company. In a house, yes. In, in his house. house. Yes, very good. In the house. Or we can say at home, yes. In the house or at home. Si vamos a utilizar la palabra house, va acompañada de la preposición in. Pero si vamos a utilizar la palabra home, va acompañada de la preposición at. Yes? That is a rule. No podemos mezclarlas. Students, where does an architect work? Where does an architect work? No idea. In a construction. Very good, yes. So in a construction, yes. Now, where does an astronomer work? Where does an astronomer work? So maybe in a lab, yes, or here, in a lab, in a laboratory, yes, in a lab. Now, where does an author work? Where does an author work? Yes, in the library, that could be good. In the library. Now, where does a baker work? Where does a baker work? Where does a baker work? Very good, Sebas, in a bakery. So, in a... Bakery in a bakery. I need to accept someone here. We continue. Where does a butcher work? Where does a butcher work? Yes, we can say. Carnicería se dice butchers. Ay, butchers. Le añadimos una apóstrofe y una S. Butchers. In the butchers. Yes. We say in the butchers. Where does a carpenter work? Where does a carpenter work? In a construction, yes, we could say that. So, in a construction or in a workshop, yes? In un taller, in a workshop, right? And where does a dentist work? Where does a dentist work? In the hospital? Yes, we could say that. Very good. In the hospital. So, in the hospital. Or, well, what else? All right, very good. So, look. That is the question we use for asking for a place, yes? Where does? Recordemos que como estamos preguntando en presente, where does? Where does an accountant work, yes? Where does an architect work? 
Where does an astronom work? Astronomer work. Where does an author work? Yes, that is the question. That is the question. We are going to see these WH questions this week. Esta semanita vamos a ver estas preguntas con WH. ¿Sí? Eh, bueno, chicos, acá un pequeño paréntesis. Vamos a llevar una asistencia. ¿Sí? Vamos a llevar una asistencia de las personas que han estado... Eh, Llegando pues a clase y, y, y tomando las clases juiciosos. Esta asistencia nos sirve a nosotros para eh, en un futuro pues poderles hacer a ustedes eh, los certificados. Recuerden que no es solo por asistencia sino también por conocimientos. De igual manera la asistencia cuenta mucho. Entonces en este momento pues ahorita no me quiso cargar el documento pero eh, ahorita más o menos a las once y media se los estaré enviando en el grupo de WhatsApp. Es un, como un formulario en Google que ustedes deben de llenar los datos eh, cada día que asistan a clase, ¿sí? Entonces, ahorita a las once y media les mando el documento. Eh, por favor, las personas que asistieron a esta clase, que están en este momento en la clase, lo llenan para que quede la constancia de que estuvieron en la clase del día de hoy, ¿sí? Si tienen alguna duda o pregunta, me la pueden hacer por acá, por el chat. No hay problema, ¿ok? Entonces, para que tengamos en cuenta, todos los días vamos a, a, a firmar esta asistencia, ¿sí? Para que nos quede la constancia. Ahora, más o menos después, después de, de la clasecita, les estaré enviando el documento, ¿sí? La idea era mostrarles acá cómo la llenaban, pero eh, realmente no, no es muy complicado. Simplemente le dan clic en el enlace y van a llenar unos datos, ¿sí? Entonces, la idea también es guardar ese enlace porque lo deben abrir todos los días y llenarlo cada vez que se ingrese a una clase, ¿ok? Ah, bueno, ahorita anoto entonces tu número por acá. All right. So, we continue over here. We are going to do a couple of exercises. I want to share the link with you. And remember that I already sent you this. All right, students, are you seeing the um, web page? Yes. Estamos viendo la página web? Yes. Jobs. Okay, we have 14 questions. All right, very good. So now question number one, this is going to be for Consuelo. What is the correct job? Well, oh. uh, joven. Number or oh, joven teacher. Sí. Sir? Sí. Very good. Veteranian. Yes. They can also say bet. En muchas ocasiones nos vamos a encontrar con la abreviación bet. Yes. Or veterinarian. Yes. We continue. Second question for Aida. Yes, second question for Aida. Secretary. Secretary, very good. Now the third question for Santi. Um, a mechanic. A mechanic, very good. Fourth question for Sebas. The fourth question. Musician. Musician. Very good. The fifth question for Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Are you there? This is a question for you. Uh, is a photographer? Photographer. Very good. Okay. Sixth question for Yole. What is the correct job? It's painter. It's a painter. Very good. Painter. Question number seven for Aileen. What is the correct uh, job?
pilot. Yes, so a pilot. Very good, a pilot. Question number eight for Tati. What is the correct job? Electrician. Well, let's say electrician, yes. I don't know if Tati answered or here. B, yes. That was B. Very good. Now, the nine question word. This is going to be for Jairo. Again, yes. This is going to be for you. Yes. Jairo, this is your question. Question number nine. What is the correct answer? D. Gardener, yes. Question number 10. This is going to be for Jose. Question number 10. B. Fireman. Fireman. Fireman, bombero. Yes, that is bombero. So you have a second chance. Tienes otra oportunidad. Don't worry. C. Farmer. C. Farmer. Yes. C. Farmer. Very good. We continue. Question 11 for Santiago Calambas. Yes. I don't know if Santi has microphone. No sé si tienes micrófono, si no puedes contestar por acá por el chat. Yes. Hello, Santi, are you there? Question number 11. Well, I guess he's not with a good connection. So, what is the correct answer here? Yes, very good, Vivian. There is a fireman. Fireman. Yes. Remember the pronunciation. Fireman. Question number 12. Yes. Question number um, 12 for Adriana. Adri, do you have microphone? Yes? Or you can answer here on the chat. Puedes responder acá en el chat, no problem. Mm, I guess she doesn't, she's not listening here. Well, the correct answer over here, that is dancers, yes? Plural, that is plural, because there are two people here, yes? Two people, so dancers. Very good, we continue. Question number 13, this is for Santiago Zuniga. What is the correct answer? A housewife. A housewife. Very good. And question number 14 for Consuelo. A, a teacher, a journalist. Yes, journalist. Very good, journalist. All right. We are going to continue with the second link and we finish the review, yes? Bueno, vamos a continuar con el último ejercicio de um, repaso de los trabajos. So I'm going to share the screen over here. So question number one. Sebas, what is the correct answer? Magician. Magician, yes, magician. Very good. This C 
esta C me va a sonar como una SH, ¿sí? es Magician, ¿sí? es Magician. Question number two. This is going to be for Vivian. Question number two. Sailor. Sailor. Very good. Yes. Very good. Sailor. You know sailor? That is marinero. Yes. Sailor. Marinero. Very good. We continue with Jose. Jose, question number three. C plumber. Very good. C plumber. C plumber. Um, esta vez no me va a sonar. Yes. Plumber. Plumber. C plumber. Very good. We continue. Question number four. This is for Jairo. What is the correct profession? A. Librarian. Librarian. Very good. That is bibliotecario. Yes. Librarian. Question number five. This is going to be for Aileen. What is the correct profession? Stewardess? Yes, very good. Yes. Stewardess. There is a zafata. Yes? Stewardess. There is another option to say azafata, which is fly attendant. Yes? Fly attendant or stewardess, that is the same. Yes? They are synonyms. They are synonyms. Son synonymous. Yes? Azafata. That is the meaning. Right? Very good. We continue. Question number six. This is going to be for Yoli. Question number six. Uh, fire, fire, fisherman. Fisherman. Very good. Question number seven. This is going to be for Aida. Yes, question Shop assistant? Two. Shop assistant. Very good. Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Question number eight. Question number eight. This is going to be for, wait a second, who lost here? For Tati. Question number eight. I guess she's going to answer here on the chat. Right. Tati, are you there? Yes. All right. Look, everybody says A, receptionist. Very good. Yes, A, receptionist. We continue. Question number nine. This is for all of you. Question number nine. What is the correct profession over here? What is the correct profession? Very good, Sebas. Hair dresser. Hair dresser. Estilista o peluquero. Yes, hair dresser. Very good, we continue. Question number 10, what is the correct answer? Very easy, yes? Okay, B, soldier. Students, pay attention. Esta D no me va a sonar tanto como una D. Me va a sonar más o menos como una G. Soldier, soldier, yes? That is the correct pronunciation, soldier. Soldier. 
Question number 11. What is the profession here? What is the job? Very easy. Very good, Adri. It's a student. Student, yes. Question number 12. What is the correct profession here? Very good, Vivian. That is a writer. Writer. Yes. Writer. Escritor. Writer. Question number 13. What is the correct answer here? What is the job? Scientist. Scientist. Very good. Scientist. Pay attention to the pronunciation here. Scientist. Scientist. And the last question, question number 14. What is the correct answer? Carpenter. Very good. Carpenter. All right. Very good, students. So, look. Bueno. Ahora vamos a pasar, ya hemos terminado el repaso, ¿sí? Nos faltaba esta partecita de los trabajos. Vamos a pasar a un tema muy importante, ¿sí? Voy a compartirles por acá eh, las imágenes. Voy a abrirlas por acá, sino que se demora un poquito. Ok. Bueno, ya está bien. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Esto va a ser como una pequeña introducción al tema como tal, ¿sí? El tema se llama posesivo sajón, posesivo sajón. Es un tema gramatical netamente del inglés. Nosotros en nuestro idioma español no lo tenemos, ¿ok? Eh, chicos, ¿estamos viendo la imagen? Yes, are you seeing the... The image over here, the title is the Saxon genitive. Yes? Yes. Ok. Bueno. Este tema se puede llamar posesivo sajón. Sajón. Genitivo sajón. Yes? So, in English, the Saxon genitive. The Saxon genitive. Yes? Es... Generalmente, cuando nos encontramos una apóstrofe acompañada de una S. The apostrophe with the S. Yes? So, look at this. Apóstrofe S se usa para expresar posesión, relación familiar o dependencia cuando en español utilizamos de. Yes? So, look. Vamos a ver primero los ejemplos de la columna de la derecha. Nosotros, cuando empezamos a hablar inglés, solemos utilizar mucho esta palabrita of, of, yes, y en muchos casos esta palabrita me sobra, ¿por qué? Porque yo la puedo reemplazar con un eh, genitivo sajón. Entonces, we have here these examples. I love the car of my sister. Yo amo el carro de mi hermana. I love the car of my sister, yes? Esta estructura no es incorrecta del todo, solo que hay una estructura que podemos utilizar mejor, ¿sí? Para que no suene tan forzado el inglés. ¿Cuál es esa estructura? Es el uso del apóstrofe con la S. So look, I love my sister's car, yes? Chicos, um, cuando yo apunto con el mouse... ¿Ustedes ven la manecilla del mouse? ¿Sí? Yes, ok, perfecto. Bueno, quiero que me comprendan una partecita. My sister's car. Vamos a centrarnos acá. ¿Esto qué quiere decir? Esto lo podemos dividir en tres partes. Parte número uno, car. Parte número dos, apóstrofe con la S. Y parte número tres, sister. Yes. Tres partes. Uno, dos, tres. Para que podamos comprender esta estructura, podemos utilizar este truco, ¿sí? De la división en tres partes. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? El carro de 
mi hermana. Yes, sister. El carro, número uno, de, número dos, hermana, en este caso, pues, mi hermana, número tres. Yes. Eh, esta sería la estructura y el orden en inglés. My sister's car. My sister's car. Pero para que nuestro idioma tenga lógica, lo podemos ver de esta manera. Car número uno, apóstrofe, S número dos, sister número tres. Yes. I love my sister's car. ¿Esto qué quiere decir? El carro de mi hermana. O sea que esta comita o esta apóstrofe con la S, ¿qué significa en nuestro idioma? Significa de. ¿Sí? Significa de. Pero para que tenga sentido, cuando lo estemos traduciendo, debemos traducirlo al revés. El carro de mi hermana. Yo no puedo decir la hermana de mi carro. No, no tiene sentido. Por eso utilizamos la regla de la división de tres al revés. Yes. For example, number two. Is this Anne's husband? Husband, that is esposo. Yes. Husband, esposo. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la oración? Él es el esposo de Anne. Is this Anne's wife? Es el esposo de Anne. Yes. Students, questions until here? Preguntas hasta el momento. Ok. It's true. Don't worry. Yes. Ok, bueno. Don't worry. This is just a little introduction. Yes, esto es solo una pequeña introducción. Pero que les, doy, les estoy dando una clavecita que pues a mí me sirvió mucho para comprender este tema porque pues es un, eh, una estructura que no tenemos en el español. Yes. So look, number three. This is James' wife. Wife, that is esposa, yes, this is James' wife, wife, that is esposa, so, what is this, James' wife, ¿qué quiere decir en nuestro idioma? James' wife, what is that? La esposa de James. Very good. La esposa de James, or well, James, <laughs> yes, very good. This is James' wife. And now look at this. This is James' friend. This is James' friend. So what is James' friend in Spanish? What is this in Spanish? James' friend. Los amigos de Jame. Very good. El amigo, yes, el amigo de James or James, yes? So this is the structure that we are going to see tomorrow to practice with more exercises, yes? La idea con este eh, genitivo sajón es dejar de utilizar tanto esta palabrita of, yes? So we have here, I love my sister's car. That is better, es mejor que utilizar I love the car of my sister. Yes. Is this Anne's husband? It's better. It's mejor. Is this the husband of Anne? Number three. This is James' wife. Number three here. This is the wife of James. Number four. This is James' friend. Number four here. This is the friend of James yes students questions doubts until here preguntas dudas hasta el momento all right okay very good i'm going to share this other Image, wait a second, las imágenes se demoran un poquito en cargar. Ya les comparto por acá. Ah, 
Okay, students, are you seeing the, the image? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. So look. Wait a second. I'm going to put it bigger. We are going to read over here. Look. Dog's house. Dog's house. What is this in Spanish? La casa de el perro. Yes. Dog's house. Number two. Number two. Books, words. Words, that is palabras. Yes. So, las palabras de... El libro, yes? Books, words. Number three, gears, dolls. Gears, dolls. Dolls quiere decir muñecas. Las muñecas de la niña. Chicos, atención, porque esta S no me indica que esta palabra sea plural. Yo la voy a leer dogs, dogs. Pero esto no significa que yo esté diciendo que esta palabra sea plural, no. Esta S me indica es posesión. Esta S me indica posesión. So pay attention eh, with this part, yes? La S me indica posesión. No me indica que esta palabra sea plural. So we have here beers, chicks, chicks, chicks. Quiere decir pollitos, ¿sí? ¿yes? O sea, los pollitos de el pájaro, ¿sí? ¿yes? Beers, chicks. Esta S en estas palabras no significa que sea plural. Significa posesión, porque tenemos apóstrofe S, ¿sí? A diferencia de la palabra acá, words, acá la S sí está normal. Esto pues ya quiere decir que es una palabra plural, yes, that is plural words, que quiere decir palabras, ¿sí? Dolls, que quiere decir muñecas, plural. Chicks, que quiere decir pollitos, plural. Pero esta S no me indica plural, ¿ok? Students, questions, doubts? Bueno. Este tema lo vamos a ver el día de mañana. Esta fue una pequeña introducción de lo que vamos a ver mañana. Es un tema realmente muy importante en el inglés. Eh, como es una estructura nueva, vamos a dedicarle toda la clasecita. ¿Ok? So, um, here in, let's say, 30 minutes, more or less, en 10 minuticos o 15 minuticos más o menos, les estaré enviando el formulario de la asistencia. Por favor, lo llenan todos los que, lo, los que asistieron a la clase del día de hoy, ¿sí? Lo llenan todos los que lo asistieron. Eh, el formulario realmente es muy sencillo. Les voy a mandar un link al grupo. La idea es seguirse los mandando por acá, sino que, pues, no, no me quiso cargar, ¿sí? Eh, yes, tell me. Profe, eh, lo que pasa es que yo pues pienso pagar la membresía, pero pues para esta fecha aún no me, no me han pagado, ¿cierto? Pero quería saber si pues continuar con el curso normal y pagarla después también se podría hacer la certificación o hay algún tipo de problema. Mm, depende cuál vas a adquirir y el tiempo en el que estés, porque para la certificación se necesita un tiempo mínimo y también... Eh, la evaluación de tus conocimientos. Entonces, no hay problema. Si la puedes adquirir este mes que viene, no hay problema, la adquieres y se te cuenta este tiempo. Por eso vamos a empezar a implementar la asistencia, ¿sí? Entonces, ahorita, más o menos pasaditas las 11, les estaré enviando de nuevo el documento. Me toca volver a hacer otro porque no, no me quiso funcionar del todo, ¿ok? Por eso vamos a implementar la asistencia, ¿listo? Eh, José, muy buena pregunta. Si fuera docs en plural, entonces diríamos docs house. Docs house. No utilizamos la S. 
en este caso no utilizamos la S y mañana te cuento por qué, porque es un tema un poquito ya más larguito. This is a very good question. And more questions, doubts, más preguntas, dudas. Eh, bueno, chicos, yo estuve pues a la espera de que se hiciera el cambio del link, pero desde los directivos aún no se, no se ha tomado esta decisión, entonces pues estamos esperando de pronto el día de hoy haya un cambio. Les pido que estén muy pendientes eh, del de grupo de WhatsApp, de los grupos en los que están. Eh, yes, this... Images are going to be on the plan, yes. Estas imágenes y el tema del de posesivo sajón van a estar en el plan que les enviaré esta nochecita, ¿ok? More questions, doubts? Picho, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Eh, los últimos ejercicios que se se hizo, eh, participamos todos los compañeros. Yo no, yo no los tengo para repasar, no me salieron, me salieron hasta donde están las gráficas eh, eh, seguidas de, de, cada, de cada oficio de cada persona, pero no me salieron los ejemplos, no, me sale ya un, un qué, hasta donde quedó lo de los muñequitos que tienen su diferente oficio, pero los últimos que hicimos con los compañeros, no de este tema, sino del anterior, no me salió ningún ejemplo, es que solo uno los enviaba. Eh, eh, recuerden que estos están en el plan que habíamos hecho el jueves. Te lo voy a enviar por acá, por, por el grupo. Por favor. Los links, acá te los estoy enviando. Sí, sí. Ok. Eh, ah, ok, Adri, perfecto. Eh, te voy a agregar entonces al grupo, ay, me toca buscar tu número por acá de nuevo, para que estés pendiente. Sí, Mercedes. Yo estoy agregada al grupo, teacher. Ah, ok, no, por acá. Yo, no sé, ya... Sí, no, por acá una estudiante que tenemos nueva, que me había escrito, ah, sí, ¿no? entonces vamos a agregarla por acá. Ok, students, so thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m., yes? Please sign the attendance. Por favor, firmen la asistencia ahorita, las 11 pasaditas se las estaré enviando al grupo. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, ahí puse el número de un compañero.